well do you wait? I totally get it. Waiting is super hard. We all want things we can't have quite yet. To find out the grade you got on that math test, for mom to finish work so you can go for a bike ride together, for the microwave to dink so your popcorn's finally done, whether you're waiting for four minutes or four months, it can seem like forever. It's tempting to grumble and whine. It's not fair. Nobody else has to wait this long. It can be tempting to jump ahead and try to get what you want without waiting. But trying to skip the wait usually leads to a mess. So, take a deep breath. And be patient. Ask God for help. Take the extra time to encourage a friend. And when the time is right, you can enjoy what you've been waiting on for so long. Yeah. When you wait without complaining, others can see God at work in you. That's why patience is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud. It's all about living loud. Good morning, everyone. My name is Daniel. Welcome to CBC Kids Live. Uh, I'm so excited to be with you guys today on, what's today? It is Palm Sunday. Do you know what Palm Sunday is? It's like palm trees. Um, if you don't know what Palm Sunday is, don't worry. You're going to find out in our story today, but it's a pretty special life, uh, excuse me, a pretty special day in Jesus's life. And uh, it kind of leads us up into next Sunday, which is, you guys know, it rhymes with Leaster or Feaster or Beaster. It's Easter. That's right. Um, so we're going to kind of learn about what leads up into Easter. And then next week we'll learn about Easter itself. It's going to be great. But guys, you got to wait for that because our theme for the month is patience. So you got to wait until later for what you want now. So if you're like, man, I really want to learn about Easter and what that's all about. You got another week, so you're gonna have to have just a little more patience with us. Um, also today, something you need a little less patience for is our Zoom small groups. That'll be right after uh, our show today. So when we wrap up, you can close YouTube, open Zoom, and hop on. You'll see me there. You'll see your small group leaders there. Uh, it's going to be a good time. And remember, uh, this today is at 1030. Next week, we're going to switch to doing small groups every Sunday if you're from kindergarten to fifth grade. And that, that time is going to shift to 1045. Uh, we'll have an email out to you guys about that, I'm sure, but 1045 is the time, not 1030. So there's going to be a little extra time uh, next week when we make that shift on Easter. I'll remind you guys. Don't worry. Um, yeah. So without further ado, I think it's time for some worship. What do you guys think? Are you ready to get up, to get moving, to uh, show and tell Jesus how much we love him and how we're thankful for who God is and what he has done? That sounds great to me. So let's Get started. Sometimes it's hard to wait for all the things that I want. Sometimes I kind of feel like it's just taking too long. Yeah. 
that you're working it out I'm gonna hold up, slow down I'm gonna trust that you're working it out What's up, everybody? My name is Graham, and you'll never believe it, I graduated from baking class. <laughs> it was an intense two and a half week course, but I made it to the end. And to celebrate, I made a cake. Okay, I know it may not look like much now, but when I add the frosting, it's going to look amazing. Of course I'm not gonna frost it yet. Because the cake is still warm. That's something I learned in class. If you try and frost a cake while it's still warm, everything falls apart. So, you gotta let it, you know, chill. Oh, hey! While we wait, let's talk about patience. Patience is waiting until later for what you want now. So, let's wait. Still warm. Yeah, waiting is boring. I know something that might help. Let's set a timer. Uh, I figure it'll take half an hour for the cake to cool, so. Yeah. Okay, how much time has passed? 30 seconds? Oh! oh. Waiting is so hard. I just want to finish this cake so I can celebrate. Today's story has a big celebration in it. And the people celebrating have been waiting for a long time. You should check it out. I'll count the seconds. Hosanna, Hosanna. Hey everybody. Like you heard earlier, today is Palm Sunday. And if you're wondering what Palm Sunday is and why we celebrate it, then you're in luck because that's exactly what we're going to be talking about today. Let me give you a little background first. For hundreds of years, God's people had been waiting for a savior. Every year at a feast called Passover, the Israelites celebrated how God had freed them from slavery in Egypt. They also looked forward to the time when the Savior would finally come, when God would rescue them again. Can you imagine waiting hundreds of years for something? Wow. Well, as I tell this story, I'll need you to help me by making a few sound effects. We're going to get loud and have some fun. So first, we need the sound of footsteps. Can you stomp your feet with me? Awesome. Next, we're going to need some donkey sounds. Can you bray like a donkey? Hee-haw! 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 And next, we're going to need some palm branch effects. So why don't you like hold your hands up in the air with me and wave your palm branches. And when I point to you, you can wave them around, kind of smack them together to make some noise, okay? Great. So finally, the last sound. You're gonna be the crowd of people who gathered together for the Passover feast. When you see the word cheer on the screen, yay! That's what you'll do, okay? So let's practice. Ready, here's the cheer. Yay! Wow, you're totally pros at this. This is gonna be a lot of fun. So let's pick up the story. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem, some people knew right away that he was special. 
Like his parents knew, Mary and Joseph, they could see Jesus was special. And as Jesus grew up, other people began to notice too. People heard Jesus' words and they saw the way that he healed people. Many began to believe that Jesus really is the Son of God. They believed that he might actually be the Savior that God had promised, the one they'd been waiting for all those hundreds of years. Well, Jesus had become so popular that people everywhere wanted to see him and hear what he had to say. When Jesus and his disciples came to Jerusalem to celebrate the Passover feast, many of God's people had gathered there to celebrate Passover together. So as Jesus and his friends walked toward the city, let's cue those footsteps. Right on. Jesus sent two of his disciples ahead. He told them, go to the village ahead of you. And as soon as you get there, you will find a donkey tied up. Where's those donkey sounds? Her colt will be with her. Untie them and bring them to me. And if anyone says anything to you, just say that the Lord needs them. Then the owner will send them right away. So the two disciples did what Jesus said. They brought the donkey and her colt to Jesus right away. They also placed their coats on the donkey's backs. Does this kind of donkey look a little familiar to anybody? So Jesus would have a comfortable place to sit on the donkey. So great job. The disciples didn't know it at the time, but they were actually fulfilling the words written by a prophet named Zechariah hundreds of years before. Wait, what's that? We have video of the prophet Zechariah? Wow, okay, let's roll the tape. People of Jerusalem, shout! See, your king comes to you. He always does what is right. He has won the victory. He is humble and riding a donkey. He is sitting on a donkey's coat. Wow, that's pretty amazing that the words of the prophet Zechariah were coming true all these years later. What did Zechariah tell the people to do? Do you remember? Shout! That's right! Woo! 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 That's right! Zechariah told the people to shout. He wrote that a savior would come riding on a donkey. That's right! And sure enough, that's exactly what happened. So as Jesus rode into Jerusalem, the whole crowd waved their palm branches to honor him. Wave your palm branches with me! Woohoo! Hosanna! They spread their coats on the road in front of him. They cut down branches from trees and they put them on the road to make a path for Jesus. Some people went ahead of Jesus and some of them followed behind. So he was surrounded by this whole crowd of people. All of them were doing this. Yay! 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 They were cheering, shouting, and they were shouting out, Hosanna! Hosanna! Let me hear you at home. Hosanna! Hosanna! They were shouting, Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Shout it with me. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Can your whole family hear you? Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Great job. That's exactly what they were doing, shouting and cheering for Jesus and praising him. The people had a huge celebration, and it was all to honor Jesus. They knew that he was the Savior that had come to rescue them. But sadly, not everyone was happy with all of this celebration. The religious leaders, they saw the people praising and cheering for Jesus, and wouldn't you know it, they started to grumble. <laughs> <laughs> Let me hear you grumbling at home. Hmm. Hmm. That's right. They weren't too excited about it. They didn't believe that Jesus was the Savior that God had sent. To them, it seemed like the whole world was following him. They said to Jesus, and you can find this in Luke chapter 19, verse 39. They said, Teacher, 
tell your disciples to stop. But Jesus told them, I tell you that if they were to be quiet, even the very stones would cry out. You know what that means, everyone. Let's get ready to cheer. Ready? Hooray! 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 They cheered even louder this time. Hooray! Hooray! That's right. This was a celebration. Nothing was going to stop God's plan from coming true. And God did have an amazing plan, as we'll see next week on Easter Sunday. So let's give yourselves a big round of applause for being amazing sound effects helpers. Good job, everybody. So the religious leaders, those guys who were grumbling, they'd studied the scriptures and they'd waited their whole lives for the Savior to come. But they didn't recognize him when he was right there in front of their faces. They had a chance to celebrate and worship Jesus just like everyone else did. But unfortunately, they let that chance pass them by. So here's our bottom line. You can celebrate even when you're waiting. Even if you're tired of waiting and you're impatient, you can still celebrate. You can still see the good ways that God is working in your life. So let's pray and ask God to help us celebrate even while we're waiting. Let's pray together. God, thank you for keeping your promise and sending Jesus to be our Savior. Please keep our hearts open to what you're doing in our lives, even when we're waiting. We don't want to miss something amazing that you have planned for us just because we feel grumpy and impatient. Please help us put our trust in you and remember all that you've done for us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Thanks for joining me today, everybody. We'll see you next time. Listen up, here's the truth. Waiting is boring and it's so hard and it can take a long time. It can even feel like time slows down when you're waiting, but listen, just because we're so focused on what we're waiting for doesn't mean that God isn't up to something. So I say we change our focus. Instead of thinking about how long things are taking to go the way we want, let's focus on the creator of the universe. Let's focus on how he has a plan. Let's focus on how the savior that the Israelites waited hundreds of years for has already come for us and his name is Jesus. We should focus on those things. Everything else is just icing on the cake. Waiting can take a long time. It's true, but it doesn't have to be hard and it doesn't have to be boring. We've got a lot to celebrate while we wait. That's the one thing to remember today. You can celebrate even when you're waiting. Who knows? Maybe waiting can be fun. Oh, the cake is ready for some frosting. Oh, I can't wait to taste this. I don't have to. <laughs> oh, it's so good. <laughs> Happy Palm Sunday, everybody. All right, thank you, Christina, for that uh, reminder of why patience is so important, for t teaching us about Palm Sunday, a pretty special day, like I said earlier. Um, yeah, before we uh, get out of here, usually at the end of our show, I tell you guys about the memory verse and kind of why it's important. But today, I'm going to have someone else, in fact, several other people, tell you guys the memory verse. So check it out. Here we go. The memory verse is Psalm 27, 14. Psalm 27, 14. Psalm 27, 14. Psalms 27, 14. Psalm 27, verse 14. Wait for the Lord, be strong, and take heart. And wait for the Lord. Psalm 27, 14. Bye, CPC kids. Have a great day. Wasn't that great? Thank you, everyone, for participating, for sending me your videos. Uh, maybe if you send me videos next month, maybe I can make another video and maybe you can be featured on CPC Kids Online 
right here on YouTube. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you guys. Let's finish out our morning with uh, another worship song. I'm going to jump onto my laptop on Zoom. I'll see you guys there at 1030. So don't miss it. And if you don't have the link for some reason, just send me an email. I will get you hooked up or have your parents send me an email. It's in the description. See you soon. Here we go right now. I just wanna, I just wanna, I just wanna I just wanna 